Hey everybody, this is Doug Smith from MobilityDigest.com and today we're going to be unboxing the Motorola Droid Razor on the Verizon network. This is a 4G LTE device so you can expect to see download speeds of 25 megabytes a second, upload speeds of over 13 and a half megabytes a second. That's at least what we received on the Droid Bionic last month when we reviewed that. So let's go ahead and get this out of the package and take a look, show you the Droid Razor and some of the cool features that are on this device. Packaging is, as always, you have the droid red eye here in the center of it, an outer sleeve with an inner box carton, droid razor logo right there. Okay, get the device out. Okay, you have your sync cable right here. Bunch of booklets and information no one reads. And something pretty cool. The AC adapter has two USB ports. Something a little different they haven't seen before from Motorola. Alright, let's get all this out of the way. Let's go ahead and look at the device. Motorola Droid Razor, incredibly thin, only 0.28 inches thick. Very, very thin device. Let's go ahead and check this out against some other devices I have here. The iPhone 4S. Looking at the thickness here. Droid Razor definitely thinner than the iPhone. Better angle there. Except for when you turn it around and you look at the part where the camera is located at the top. The uh, Razor is a little thicker than the iPhone here. Front, the Razor is definitely a little bigger. All right. Brand new device out, the HTC Titan Windows Phone 7.5 Mango device. So, been working with this device here for the last week or so. As you can see here, outside dimensions and length are very close to the same. Thickness, again, the razor is going to edge out the Titan, except and the end where the camera is. All right. So let's go ahead and get the uh, front cover off it. This is uh, just in from Verizon. So I haven't even fired this up yet. So this is a demo unit. On the back side, uh, as you may know, it comes with a Kevlar fiber back panel. It's very, very grippable, very strong. Definitely one of the coolest features about this device. Pretty cool. All right, the front of the screen is 4.3 inch display. This is a QHD display, so this is uh, gonna have brilliant colors, brilliant display. This is a Super AMOLED Advanced uh, screen, so it's going to be a much, much better screen than you would have seen last month when we droid reviewed the Droid Bionic. Um, this is a Corning Gorilla Glass screen um, glass here, so it'll be scratch and scrape resistant, not shatter resistant, so it'll avoid a lot of uh, incidental damage that may happen. Always recommend putting a case on it. OtterBox has their line of cases out, uh, fits very well, complements the device, maximum protection. So if you don't like using a case, then you're going to be pretty well protected with this Gorilla Glass on front. So QHD display, 540 by 960. It's going to have brilliant colors, good for gaming, media playback, and so forth. Um, you have your four uh, Android buttons across the bottom here, as normal, Verizon logo, Motorola across the top. On the right hand side you're going to have your power button right here, your volume rockers, a mic here on the bottom side and another mic here. You have your camera. This is an 8 megapixel camera. It's going to take great pictures for you. It also shoots 1080 HD videos, 30 frames per second, 1920 by 1080 resolution. Something else new uh, on this device is a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera but it also takes 720 HD videos so 
video conferencing is going to be really nice on this device with that. Okay, another new feature that we haven't seen in a Motorola device is nanoparticles. What are nanoparticles? The nanoparticles cover this device on the inside and out. It covers the electronic boards and makes it water repellent. I wouldn't go scuba diving with it just yet, but in case you spill your coffee on it or whatever, there's a fair chance that it's going to survive uh, some water or liquid uh, type accidents that may occur. So, all right, moving right along. This is the Motorola Droid Razor once again. It comes with Gingerbread 2.3.5 on the device and Motorola has confirmed that it will be receiving the ice cream sandwich Android 4.0 operating system sometime next year. They are very serious about letting the press know that they would in fact be rolling this out as quickly as possible. So a couple more little specs uh, with the device. It is 5.15 inches long, 2.71 inches wide. Forgot to mention that earlier. Processor dual core 1.2 gigahertz processor one gigabyte of ram so lots of power lots of memory the battery power on this device even though gingerbread's pretty optimized they still put a 1780 milliamp battery inside the motorola droid razor so you're going to get 750 minutes of continuous talk i don't know if you can do that i can't but 750 minutes if you feel like talking that long standby you get 205 hours so pretty good lifespan there for a device of this power um, and on that network. There's a, a few things you can do to conserve power. Of course, turning off 4G is a big way to save power, but Motorola also has a pretty cool app that's included in this uh, Motorola Razor that we uh, wrote about last month. Um, it's called Smart Actions. And it's a learning app that learns your patterns and makes recommendations and helps you to maximize um, uh, your device. So you can set it where it'll open up your RSS feed and get news um, or even uh, have it turn off at certain times. So it's a very, very cool app that I definitely recommend that you guys get familiar with. So Kevlar back panel, this is really cool. Uh, I really think this is a neat feature with this. Um, very nice looking device. So that's about it. Uh, went around the horn here. Um, the other thing that I would point out is that you have a little bay right here, which has your SIM card and micro SD right here. Easy access. And on the top you have your HDMI and your power sync. Uh, port right here and three and a half millimeter audio and that's it this is Doug Smith with Mobility Digest and this is the Motorola Droid Razor on the Verizon network 4G LTE device come back and see our full review on mobilitydigest.com and thanks for watching